seated, I invite the children who are here to come forward for the children's message. Well, hey guys, how are you doing? Do you ever get tired? Yeah, you get tired, worn out. It's another word. Weary is another word for tired and worn out. What do you do when you get tired? You go fall asleep someplace? Kind of, yeah. You don't do a lot of work. You know what your parents do when they get tired? They grab about six cup of, cups of coffee and they douse as much as they can and then they're wide awake again. Well, that's what I, not coffee, but that's what I do too. Well, Paul, in our, in our reading today, we, Paul, this guy named Paul, tells us not to get tired. He says, don't get tired. Don't grow weary. And what does he say? Don't get tired of doing what? Doing good, right? Don't grow weary of doing good. Because getting weary is just, you can't do anything when you're asleep, can you? You can dream and you can roll all over the place, but you can't do anything. So Paul says, don't get tired, don't get weary of doing good to others, loving others and helping others, right? And who never gets tired of us? Ever. God. Do our parents get tired of us sometimes? Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. But God never gets tired of us, right? In fact, he is so untired of us and so patient with us that he died on the cross for us to forgive us of our sins, right? And he continues to come to us and be in our presence in worship where we hear his word and we receive his gifts, right? So remember that God never gets tired of us, and by his strength, we never get tired of doing good either. Okay, so let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for never getting tired of us and pushing us aside and falling asleep and forgetting about us. Continue to encourage us and give us the strength of your spirit to continue to do good to others that we come in contact with. We ask this in your name. Amen. Okay, one of you decide to get the suckers. I don't care who. <laughs> we continue with our sermon hymn. This is our hymn of the month as well. Uh, we praise you and acknowledge you. Um, it's, called a, it's another version of what we call the Te Deum. And um, I think we've done this before, but I thought we'd just go ahead and do it again for a month. 